Hey gang, James Healy Jr. here, actor, acting coach, self-tape guy. Um, I had a really good response to my previous two videos, the one about my studio self-taping equipment and my travel kit. Well, it just so happens I am in a motel room right now waiting for my call time later this afternoon uh, to go on set for the next few days. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to use my travel equipment. I am using the camera, not my phone, but to use the rest of the travel equipment in this motel room uh, to show you what we can do. And with the response I've gotten, my friends have asked me to do uh, a couple of other videos that I hadn't talked about. Again, I did the studio, I did the travel kit. I'm going to do, I figured it out, how to do uh, the uh, record my screen so I can show you that aren't proficient in iMovie how to use iMovie to edit. Uh, so today I'm going to do two short videos. The first one will be about one-liners and then the second one will be about slates and how to do slates following the directions obviously from the casting director because God knows some want slates, some don't want slates, some want slates, they'll never watch them. They'll tell you, we have them just in case, but we'll never watch them. And the instructions are always different. So I thought I'd just go over a couple of ideas on that as well. So sit back and enjoy. So what I wanted to do today was do a video on one-liners. One-liners are important. I know when I get them, and I still do occasionally. I'm lucky I'm getting some guest star roles and recurring guest star roles as well, but I still get those co-star roles and those one-liners occasionally. Here's the deal, folks. An audition is a win. If you get an audition, even for two words, it's a win. Hundreds, thousands of actors are submitted by hundreds of agents. Casting will pick Oh, I don't know. It depends upon the project, uh, how quick they need to move. But they could pick 300, 500, 3,000 people to submit. They're only going to send three to five to producers. But they may ask for 50, 100, 300 people to submit for a role. Again, depending upon how quickly they need to move and what the type of project is. So when you get that audition, remember, that's a win. The other thing to remember is, it's not about you. That one line, that co-star role that has one or two scenes and one or two, three lines in each scene, it's not about you. But your role is pivotal. It's important because if it wasn't, it wouldn't be in the script. There's a reason for it. Even if it's just, would you like some coffee? You're the waiter or the waitress that walks over and pours the coffee. They need that in the scene. It brings reality. It brings life to the scene instead of just two people sitting in a restaurant. So don't underplay the importance, but don't overplay the role. Hit your mark. Say your line. Get out of the way. That's what you need to do when you're on set to begin with. If you're a professional, you show up on time, you know your lines, you hit your mark, you say them, and you get out of the way. So what I want to do is I want to give you an example of something that happened to me many years ago. It was a one-liner. I think it had something to do with what about the people protesting or something like that. Um, the lead actor of the series was in this auditorium setting and he looked at me, I raised my hand, and he pointed at me, and I said, what about the people protesting, or whatever the line was? And the director said, again. And I said, what about the people protesting? He said, again. What about the people protesting? They went to a series regular who also had a one line sitting in the auditorium, and he said his line, and let's just say uh, his line was, um, I thought we were going to take them down. And the director says, and go. These are just the close-ups, individual close-up shots. Boom, 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 boom. They're running around the room catching people. And so he goes, I thought we were going to take them down. The director said again. He goes, I thought we were going to take them down. The director said again. He goes, I thought we were going to take them down. And I realized I screwed up. When that director gave me that opportunity to go again, 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 I needed to give him a different reading. So the editor would have something to choose. I should have said, um, what was the line? I just forgot what I said. Uh, what about the protesters? I could have said, what about the protesters? 
What about the protesters? What about the protesters? Just like that, three choices. Something they could have gone with. The editor would appreciate, obviously, and me being the experienced actor, member of SAG, the whole bit, didn't realize that's what the director wanted. Nobody said anything, and I was the first to go on all the close-ups, so I just thought, well, he liked what I said. He just wants me to do it again, so I did it again. I did it again. Little did I know. Your lines are important. You're there for a reason. It's not about you. Just say your line, move on, but give them choices. So when you're doing an audition for one-liners, here's my rule of thumb. Casting directors will tell you, some, separate your takes. I'm telling you right now, do not separate your takes when it's one line. Put them together. Edit it so that it's not space and dead air in between each take. But if they don't like take one, they're not going to watch take two or take three. But if you have a very quick one-liner audition, put all three in the same take. I know you're afraid to do it because the casting director says separate your takes. People, I have booked many a job on one-liners by showing them I can do this, give you three or four takes quickly, and they go, okay, there's take one. Oh, 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 okay. And the directors, the producers look at it and go, you know what? There's a guy who thought about this. He came up with a story. He came up with a backstory for this character. He came up with three or four different ways that he can say this line. Example on one that I was booked. High school or uh, junior high principal, uh, supernatural show. My car ends up on top of the gymnasium, on top of the building. Kids come out, they're all laughing, goofing around. I come out and go, what, what are you, uh, there's, I just ad-libbed, what are you doing? Come back in class, get, you know, come back into the gym, there's a, a dance. Uh, so I'm just trying to, you know, ad-lib as we come out the door. But my line for the audition was, is that my car? I look up, I see it. So I literally stepped back, stepped in and went, is that my car? <laughs> Is that my car? Let's go, come on, let's go. What? Is that my car? Three takes. Now, when I edited it, it went, is that my car? Is that my car? Is that my car? So there wasn't the dead space. There wasn't the dead air. There wasn't the preparation between each one. If you have somebody that says a line to you that says, um... Well, the boss said so, and your response is, I don't care who said, I don't care who said it, they're wrong. You don't have to have that one line off camera read to you three times. You can, you certainly can. If you have a reader, whatever you don't have a reader, it's even better this way. So the line is, I don't care who said it, they're wrong. So you go, I don't care who said it, they're wrong. <laughs> I don't care who said it, they're wrong. I don't care who said it, they're wrong. I don't care who said it, they're wrong. Just like that. Again, cut out the dead space, cut out the dead air. Hit your marks, say your lines, get out of the way, be a professional. Scene's not about you, it's a win to get the audition. Give them choices, and when you're on set, same thing, especially when they come in for a close-up. Give them choices, it's okay. If they like what you're doing, they'll say, you know what, go back. But if they want you to give the options, you're showing you a professional by going ahead and giving them something to work with. That's it. Nice short video. Take care. We'll talk to you later.